Oh my gosh, is he gonna just throw that at her? Oh my god! Oh, what an idiot! Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary and today I'm gonna be watching a foreign film, Kung Fu Hustle. This film will be my introduction to Stephen Chow. He directs and also stars in this film. It's an action film, but it also has some comedy. So I'm hoping to laugh a lot. And it's a shorter film as well. I've seen some Kung Fu slash martial arts films on my channel already, but I think this will be the most, uh, well, I'm guessing it'll be the most traditional because it is Chinese. So there will be subtitles. I'm quite excited for this one because I really enjoyed Kung Fu Panda and I really enjoyed Rush Hour. Not that Rush Hour was a Kung Fu movie, but there was a lot of martial arts involved with Jackie Chan, especially, and the mobs that he had to fight as well. I don't know too much about the style of fighting and what the difference between Kung Fu and martial arts is. From my understanding, just by watching Kung Fu Panda, Kung Fu fighting involves chi. Chi is something that's inside of you, from my understanding, but again, correct me if I'm wrong. And martial arts also originated from China, but I think it's more modern. Yeah, let me know in the comments. Regardless, I'm super excited for this one. Before we jump into this film, I want to remind you guys about the uncut version. That's going to be over on Patreon. The link for that is in the description bar below. You just need a copy of the film so that you can watch it along with me. I watched it over on Amazon Prime. I rented it, so I definitely know it's on there, but it's probably available more places in your country because I live in Australia and I don't have access to a whole bunch of streaming services, just the ones that we have. Down in the description bar, you can also find my two other channels, my gaming channel where I'm currently covering The Last of Us gameplay and my vlogging channel as well. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Discord, TikTok, Facebook, all of that linked down below. With all of that said, guys, I think we're ready to jump into this action comedy. So let's get to it. Oh, the police are in shock. Like super still. Ooh, okay, some shit's going down, that's why. Ah. Damn, Chinese cowboy runs the place. She's so pretty, oh my gosh. Yeah, bro. <gasps> Holy crap. It's like the Wild West around here. I like the setup here. You can tell it's an actual set. Uh oh. The top hat gang are here. <laughs> A lot of people. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh. Ooh. That's gonna fucking hurt. Oh, oh, man lost his leg. Oh, God. He's coming back for more limbs and he's dancing. Holy shit. <laughs> he's like, fuck your dinner. <laughs> oh, shit. She all right? Oh, she's shocked. Oh, yeah, it was her husband. Lucky. Big brother? Does she mean that literally? <gasps> if so, he just killed his sister. Cops come clean the mess? Holy crap, this is insane. <laughs> There's more. They're dancing in a triangle. Oh my gosh. Hey, flash mob, let's go. <laughs> Why is this so fun at the same time? Like, people died, but we dancing. I've always said gangs are kind of like cults. Maybe this is a ritual of theirs. The Axe Gang, huh? Man, they worked hard back in the day. Actually, probably still now in villages and things. Holy crap. They do say you can carry a lot of weight on your head because of, like, balance. I do love the music so far. No. 
That was weird. Unless he's a doctor and I don't know about it. No, seems like it's just a pervert and a powerful man. <laughs> okay, stop now. <laughs> oh my god. I like what she's wearing. <laughs> she's wearing PJs. Both of them, actually. It's not a lot of water. Oh, he's run out. Oh, that sucks. What the hell? <laughs> you can just talk to your landlord and lady in this village very easily. Of a shampoo. Oh, oh my gosh. She's not very nice. God. Everyone's overdue on their rant. Really? Oh, ouch. That was loud. Peeping Toms. You're the peeping Tom. Look at that lipstick on your cheek. Oh. <gasps> Holy shit! This woman! Oh! Is he dead? Oh. oh! Oh, he's dead. Oh, no, he's not dead. That's crazy. That's actually wild as fuck. How did he survive that? Oh! <gasps> mean! Oh. I'm sorry, kid. Can you imagine the water being rationed and the heat is this wild? Damn, pull your pants up, sir. What the fuck? 50 cents, wow. Huh? Ugh. Why does it have to make that noise? <laughs> He's asleep. Bro, his body makes a lot of noises. <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh! She does not look like the type. She's like smiling. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, he was just sitting down. <laughs> She's picking women and old men. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god, no fucking way. No fucking way. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Oh, she fucking loves that slipper. Oh my god. <gasps> Holy shit. Shit, lady runs fast. Oh my god. Enough with the hacking, bro. Oh, did they actually kill it? Oh, no. What? How the hell did that happen? Oh, that's cool. That's actually cool. Oh my god. <laughs> uh oh, go back inside, lady. Oh! She just looked outside. The barber honestly should have just paid. Fuck all of this. <laughs> He's still on the floor. <laughs> He's like, I'm dead. No one bother me. Have mercy for the children. <gasps> what? Gonna set people on fire? What? Oh. <gasps> oh my, who is this hottie? Hello, where did you come from? Damn. Oh, shit. Oh, the underdog. Holy crap. I mean, they could easily hack him or throw their axes at him all at the same time and he'd probably die. I don't know why they're not doing that. He's straight up just like 1v everyone. Their top hats are just ridiculous right now. <gasps> Damn. Oh, oh, that's some good armor. Yes, old man. This is a father and son duo or something. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, they're carrying the big ones too. Whoa, how the heck did he do that? So fast. Holy crap. Damn, he's good with that stick. What the hell is that stick? Bamboo? Damn, bamboo's strong. Can't even see what's going on. All I can hear is those sticks. What an unassuming town. Little village. I love this for them. They said no, we ain't gonna be fucked with. <laughs> they were posers? <laughs> <laughs> I was Thor. 
Don't know why you'd want to be a part of a gang. But they're good at... <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> Dream montage. Oh, he just got scammed as a kid. <laughs> Life savings? Oh my god. It's kind of a basic book. Oh shit. Oh my god. So that didn't really work out for you, boy. 20 cent kung fu manual. Oh my god, so he really did get scammed. Oh my god, and now he's getting peed on. That's just great. <laughs> he likes her? Uh, what an asshole. Uh, bit extreme. Uh, they saved you. Ni. I know that. It means thank you. Also, the subtitle said that, but I did know that from year nine Chinese classes. <laughs> She's so mean. Oh my God. <laughs> Imagine having the energy to fight with everyone every day. Jesus Christ. Oh my lord. She is unbearable. <laughs> Impossible. Oh my gosh. Is he gonna just throw that at her? Oh my god. Oh, what an idiot. Oh. Uh, he's so calm. How is he so calm right now? He has two knives in him. Oh, what the fuck? How? Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, 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 he oh, this is so fucked. Holy shit, they're so stupid. Oh no, he's poisoned. His friend needs to suck the poison out of his lips now. Oh, yep. Don't forget she's Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> this is just comical. He's also Sonic the Hedgehog. Holy shit, look at his lips. The real mystery is how she is such a fast runner because she's a chain smoker. Like surely the emphysema would slow her down. Also, she's still in her slippers. Oh, what the fuck? That's going in cursed images over on Discord. I knew his friend should have sucked his lips. It's too late now. Oh, no, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I like his friend. He reminds me of the giant from Princess Bride for some reason. Like he's just softer and bigger. She's got a certain walk to her. <laughs> oh, psh, completely covering her. Oh, those were the guys that were blocking their view. Oh my gosh, look at their nails. Oh, so they are leaving. <gasps> they couldn't resist. <gasps> Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at this. Can you believe this? Oh, more lipstick. You should at least wipe it before he comes back home. Her husband just can't help himself. Ah, the musician with the nails. More oh, kitty turbulently oh my god what the fuck <gasps> oh shit i can't believe he actually got him <gasps> oh oh my god <gasps> the rings again it's like shang chi <laughs> oh oh i don't like his nails this other guy is like the black panther <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, people are gonna notice now. This one's not silent. Oh. Wow. Holy shit. Oh. Oh. It broke his rings. Oh, hide, 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 hide. Oh, landlady's gonna be pissed. Oh, what the heck is the. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. This guy in his fucking ass crack, man. More? How many instruments does he have? Oh, thank God. Thank God for his friend. Oh, I don't know why you opened the window, lady. 
<laughs> Husband smart. Nice. Oh my gosh, that leap. Oh, bamboo, not that strong. This is like a cool dance. I like it. <laughs> oh. Oh. <gasps> no. Oh, no. Oh, I thought the good guys would prevail. <laughs> Fucking just move seats. They never run out of swords. <laughs> this is like a live action anime. There's another master. Oh, ooh. don't tell me it's him. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> The way he's moving his body. Oh my god. This is crazy. This is actually funny. Holy crap. These poor men, though. They were just trying to help. <laughs> Meanwhile, her husband's outside having fun. Damn. Oh. No one can out yell this lady. Oh my god. Her voice is shattering. She's like a fucking demon. Her voice stripped them of their clothes. He's shocked. Oh my god, they're in the car with him. <laughs> no. Fucking with me. Oh shit. She a baddie. God damn. You just never expect it from these people in this town initially. Holy crap. <laughs> oh no. What the fuck? That's alcohol, you fucking dumbass. Right? Alright, settle. Oh, okay, Uncle Ben. Oh. oh, man. That's so sad. Dude, I thought these three were going to be the main characters. This guy's just a joke. Oh! You had the chance and you didn't, so stop. Oh my god, leave her alone. Aww. See what an asshole you are? Oh, <gasps> She's the lollipop girl. Oh, the deaf girl from the beginning. Oh my god. Bet you feel like a real fucking asshole now, mate. Wow. Still a fucking asshole. Didn't learn a single thing. Really? Guess he felt ashamed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come here, boy. Well, they've lost a lot of members, so it really was that easy. He didn't even have to kill anyone. <laughs> mental asylum. They're gonna try and bring that assassin from the mental asylum? Five minutes? He's gonna fail. Nah, he's gonna fail. He is going to fail so badly. It's gonna be so embarrassing. I'm gonna get second grade embarrassment from this. The hell? I feel like I'm in the movie Fifth Element now. Like, I can't follow maps for shit, so maybe I'm just projecting. It'll make people crazier being in this kind of mental asylum. Dark and gloomy. Ew, what the hell? Wow, he actually did it. I underestimated him. Oh, they're gonna get the wife and husband? Mr. Beast? <laughs> Um, he needs to stop with this big talk. Oh my god. Wow. Is he okay? Are you serious? Knocked his glasses. Oh my god. No way. No way. Oh, that's cool. That's fucking cool. He stopped that own bullet. Oh shit. He's so flexible. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god. Live action anime. <laughs> oh, they're here? What? I only want to kill you. What the fuck? Wow, they're down. <laughs> they're like, yeah, let's kill each other. Oh! 
<gasps> oh, shit. Well, it's two against one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't want to see these guys lose. He's so happy. Shit. I wonder how many frames per second they shot this in. Oh, my. Wow. It's, it's not affecting him. The lion's roar is barely affecting him. Holy crap. They met their match. <gasps> Come on, husband. Nice. Oh, what? He's like a cat. He lands on both feet. Oh, 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 oh. Why is she hitting it? Save your energy. Unless it's symbolic. Oh, no, it's doing something. It's trying to break it. Oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, lion's roar times a thousand. Oh my God. It's like a natural disaster up in here. Wow, she really thought outside the box for that one. <laughs> now finish him off. With the speaker. <gasps> you shouldn't have let him. Oh, you should have just done another lion's roar. Oh my God. It's like Twister, Kung Fu edition. No, he ain't gonna do it. <gasps> oh my god, that's very unexpected. <gasps> oh shit, what a turn of events. Man's gonna die. Oh shit, I miss his friend. I wish his friend was with him in his last moment. Uh. Oh my god, oh. Where are your actual opponents, mate? Oh my, where did his body go? Oh, they saved him. <gasps> oh. Young people make mistakes. <laughs> oh, they're so sweet. Oh, the lollipop. <gasps> oh. Oh, and his friend doesn't even know that he's now dead. Just alone in this world now. Oh, is he gonna heal? Oh, he recovers fast. <sighs> Unless he's the one in a million? Maybe? This is very symbolic. It's like a caterpillar breaking out of his cocoon. So he's gonna turn into a butterfly and be the person he was meant to be. Lucky that they actually saved him. Da 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 Oh, I want to see him now. Yeah, the chief flow. Unleash the boy's true potential. What a surprise. Look at him. Wow. Everything's moving slowly for him, but he's doing everything so fast. Speed is essential. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh! <laughs> It is destroying the place, though. Whoa! Oh, the dings. <laughs> it's the dings for me. He was such a cringy dude at the beginning, and now he's become this. Just run, guys. Honestly, I would just run. It's got to get to the final boss, though. Oh, he also recovered really fast from two lion roars. It's like he got his HP back up so fast. Holy shit. Oh, 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 what were you saying about a kid's move earlier? <laughs> Oof. Finish him. Uh oh, what the fuck is happening now? Oh, what the hell? Huh? What the heck? The hell? He's like a frog. <gasps> he is like a frog. The fuck? Ugh, what is going on? I don't like this. Code style of the Quan Lun school? Uh-oh. Wow. Man, I wish I had incredible skill out of nowhere. I would need to make a deal with the devil. Oh no! Where is he going? The now 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 the now 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 <laughs> Oh what the fuck? Like, huh? He's meeting with God for some advice. Diving down. Oh my God. Falls from heaven. Oh, this is a move. What you want to do now, frog boy? Can you rivet your way out of this one? It's like a superhero. 
another natural disaster. Oh, surrender. I thought he was willing to die. <gasps> Again with the hand. It's kind of beautiful though. Oh. Is the lesson going to be in death? Master! Look, he didn't die. He showed mercy. That's pretty beautiful, man. Now he needs to make peace with her and his friend. It's a cute little shop. Oh, he's working here now. He has a respectable job. Oh, he's working here too. Say sorry now. Also, give her money. <laughs> He's gone back to his innocence. The good boy that he was. So sweet. <laughs> That's really cute. <laughs> oh, and this couple. They're okay. Oh. <laughs> There's more now. It's great. <laughs> Ripping little kids off. This film was cheesy in the best way possible. I wasn't expecting to laugh so much just because it is a foreign film. So the comedy doesn't always translate, but I think the comedy translated really well in this film just because the actors did a phenomenal job in their respective roles. Released in 2005, but set in the 1940s. I actually thought to myself while I was watching it just by the cars in the beginning of the film that it might be set in the 1950s. I was wrong about that. I didn't go into this film knowing the plot. I didn't read the blurb or anything like that. I only read about Stephen Chow and how this was one of his biggest films. And I always like to go into movies blind because this honestly really just surprised me just by how much I liked it. I laughed, I gasped, I was shocked, I cringed, especially by Singh in the beginning of the film because he's so cringeworthy. That character, you just don't expect to be the one. It was quite symbolic, as I said, the butterfly in the beginning of the film, which you don't really think about until you see the caterpillar and he's living literally in a cocoon at the end of the film and he emerges out as the one. It was very symbolic. I liked that. As I said, it was cheesy, but in the best way possible. It just reminded me of a live action animated movie or an anime. I haven't watched a lot of anime and obviously anime is Japanese. So maybe it's better I just say live action animation just because it was so hard to defeat or even a game because some of these guys were just so hard to defeat, especially the last boss, the guy that came out of the asylum. I don't know his name. Mr. Beast, I think they called him as a joke or the toad dude. You guys know who I'm talking about. He was so hard to defeat. He got two lion roars and he recovered so fast. I guess it must just have something to do with Kung Fu and being the one. Maybe he was the one before a new one emerged. Maybe that's why that toad dude was so hard to defeat and he recovered pretty fast as well. But yeah, because of the comedy, because of the ridiculousness, I didn't really bat an eye to its cheesiness because it was a part of the film. It's what made the film and it's what made it enjoyable. It's what makes you escape into that world. And what I love about films like these is just that there were so many people to root for. I always say this, it's hard for me to get into a film when there's no characters that I can really root for. There was a whole town I was rooting for and this town got the justice that they deserved. They stood up to the bullies, so there was a strong message there. Even though in the beginning, I thought maybe it'd be easier if he just paid the guy for his haircut. Turns out they weren't even a part of the Axe Gang, so my bad. Turns out you should actually just stand up for yourself. I feel like a lot of us in that instance would have probably just paid the guy, especially if we're living in a climate where gangs exist and the police don't have much power and really the country is run by mobsters. Yes, that's a coward's route, but it would have saved the town. It would have saved a lot of lives. For this movie though, the message was more important and this isn't reality. So we're gonna, we're gonna just push through a strong message. And honestly, that's the right message. That's what you should do. I was just thinking more realistically about what I would do in that situation, cause I'm a coward. That guy with his pants down all the time with his ass crack showing, 
he did the right thing, ultimately. Yes, some people died, but overall the terrorization is ultimately gone. The other thing I want to talk about is the landlord and the landlady. When you first meet her, you think she's this crazy bitch who's so rude and so mean and has no heart. And it turns out she cared all along. I mean, if you think about it, all of these people in her town, in her village, they were like three months late in rent and she didn't actually evict them. So actually that's pretty nice. I feel like these days, if you didn't pay your rent for three months, you'd have been kicked out in the first three or four weeks, in the first month probably. I don't know. That's never really happened to me. I have no experience there. I'm just saying she's pretty nice for letting people stay where they were living, regardless of them not paying rent. And then when you find out that they lost a son as well, and that really impacted them, you kind of start to understand why she's such a hard ass and why she had these walls up around her, probably because she didn't want to get hurt again. And it was actually a very sweet revelation, especially when the landlady and the landlord were embracing each other and dancing with each other, holding each other's hands, crying together. It was unexpected. This film was just extremely unexpected. And that's the best thing that you can ask from a movie. To be surprised, to be delighted, to be taken on a journey, to spread a strong message, to have strong characters and good writing. And for you to just enjoy yourself. I laughed, as I said, so much more so than I thought I would laugh. And I had no hope for Sing. It was actually the most random thing for him to hit Brother Sum. I didn't think he had the balls in him to do that. It was kind of out of the blue, but the best thing to come out of that was the landlady and the landlord saving his life. He was practically dead. They could have just left him and assumed that he was going to die within the minute. They didn't have to take his body back to the pigsty town, but they did. And it was because of the mercy that he showed to the landlord and the landlady that they wanted to bring his body back home. As I said, they didn't know whether he was going to survive, but they brought his body back, which was super respectful and a little bit risky, if I'm honest, because if they didn't, the one wouldn't have even emerged. Also want to talk about the CGI, which was so cheesy but again so great it was so over the top i feel like they definitely used a lot of high frame rates for this movie as well because there was a lot of slow-mo but there was a lot of cgi as well it made for the entertainment though i thought it was used really well even though it was cheesy it was the content so there was no real oh my god, what the hell are they doing kind of thing. I felt like it worked really well because of the comedic style. And I also want to talk about the music. I think the music played a really big role into making this film great and making you feel like you were actually in China. It set the mood, it set the tone for every single scene. I actually want to talk about the fighting, the choreography, because I was really impressed by that as well. I'm not sure who's responsible for the choreography, but whoever you are, you did a really good job because it felt like a dance. It felt like every single movie was intentional and everything was just perfected to the T. So it was super impressive. I know a lot of work goes into it, work that I would never be able to do. I can appreciate the work and I can appreciate the time and I don't even want to think about how long it took to master all of that. So yeah, guys, I really enjoyed this film. Let me know what you thought of this film in the comment section below. Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps my channel out and you can find the uncut version over on Patreon. You just need a copy of the film so that you can watch it along with me. As I said, I watched it on Amazon Prime and my Patreon is linked in the description bar and in the pinned comments down below where you can also find my two other channels, my gaming channel, my vlog channel, and you can find me in all the social media handles, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Discord, TikTok, Facebook, all of that linked down below. Thank you so much for watching this with me. Take care of yourselves, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.